Keisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Um, I apologize for the lateness of this reading the past couple days. These energies have really, really been doing a number on me and I was guided to rest and recharge while I do my inner work, right? Uh, so I want to thank my new subscribers. I want to thank my old subscribers. And if you are just checking me out for the first time and my readings resonate with you or you like the way I read, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe. And with that being said, I'm going to jump right into your reading. Uh, so this is just a general reading for someone in the soulmate uh, community. So uh, this is just general messages that uh, Spirit has and guidance to go along with that. So the cards have already been shuffled and drawn, and here we go. So the first card drawn was Fourth Chakra Archangel Raphael. Second Chakra is the Father. So these clarifying cards come from Dreams of Gaia Tarot Deck. And the Union card. So this talks about um, someone, or you just came over, you're just getting over or healing from a heartbreak. Uh, you're also learning how to love yourself. So this heartbreak taught you the importance of self-love. It talks about the importance of you cannot love anybody else until you love yourself. That was a lesson for you to learn. That's what this heartbreak was to teach you. Everything is a lesson. Uh, also, you are learning how to come into union with yourself so you recently just learned the importance of self-love and that everything is connected you're waking up I keep hearing as above so below so you started to realize that um whatever you want to create in your outer world you have to be aligned within so if you want real love you have to really love yourself if you want peace happen happiness and harmony you have to have those things within yourself this is also speaking about someone who is the the breadwinner of the family You are the provider, the protector, the teacher, the leader. You love your children, you love your family, but you realize that you could not provide for them the way you wanted to if you could not provide for yourself the way you are supposed to. So you, you recently just began to come into union and alignment with yourself and that that has allowed you to create uh, self-love, that has allowed you to love yourself. So in the past, you, you're coming from a place where uh, you were taught, you realized that the things that you were taught were not, um, they weren't conducive to the things that you really wanted in your life, like true happiness, love, joy, harmony, balance. The things that you were taught uh, actually showed you how to separate these things and you realize that they're all connected. There's nothing outside of you. It's not like um, there's you and then there's the world. It, it, you're, we're all connected and you really began to realize that. Uh, you also began to realize the importance of taking care of the planet. Some of you may be environmentalists are really, really... Um, active about uh, taking care of the environment you're realizing that uh, that this uh, this planet is our home and if we do not take care of our home we don't have anywhere to live 
right? And this is also contributes to you realizing the connectedness of everything. We're not separated. And it was through you coming into realization through self-love why you realize these things. Okay, so now we have happy family in reverse, clarified by seven of earth. And the journey card. So presently you are... You are disconnected from friends and family members. And this is because you're tired. You're tired of, of having to do everything. You feel like you've, you just, you need a break. You know, the, just the everyday demands of life has worn you out. And you are on a journey right now to really rebalance. And this is why um, the healing and the self-love, you also, you may have been healing from a heartbreak. Like I said before, you were healing from a heartbreak and it, it taught you how to love yourself and value yourself. Uh, also, because of you, you're so used to being the breadwinner and the leader and just taking on everything that you don't give yourself time to just be. You know, so right now you are focusing on that, on just learning how to take a break. Take a break and delegate and not take everything on. And, and you're you're taking a break from family and friends that are, are demanding. They... They want too much from you. You realize, and you realize that you were giving too much. So you were pouring too much out of your cup into others. You didn't have anything left for yourself, and now you are replenishing your cup. You are being um, guided by spirit to go out into nature and nurture yourself. Go connect with nature. Go for a walk. Go sit in a park. Go by water. Um, me being an empath. I am very, very drawn to water and a star seed. Uh, water relaxes me when I feel stressed out or when I'm happy or when I'm sad and things are not going well for me. I go by a large body of water and I sit down and I chill out. And that makes that just makes my whole day, raises my vibration all as well. Uh, and that is what spirit wants you to do right now. Focus on being in harmony with yourself and you're on a journey to do that. Like you're looking at your life right now and you're looking at how you've poured into everyone's cup and you've left nothing for yourself. So you you kind of kind of stepped back from doing everything for everybody. And you're letting people figure out their own stuff. So um, what I'm hearing is we're all responsible for ourselves and you're learning now that you can help people where you can, how you can, when you can, but outside of that, they're on their own. It doesn't matter if they're family or friends. They are responsible for, oh, sorry, they are responsible for themselves the same way how you are responsible for yourself. And you're learning now how to put yourself first and make yourself a priority because for a long time you were taught that you were supposed to do that. You're supposed to let everybody come, everybody else comes before you. And you give to everyone else, and if you have anything left, then you give to yourself. But don't give to yourself too much because that's selfish, and you're realizing that's wrong. And that way of thinking and that way of conditioning is wrong. So you're learning how to um, really align with who you are and focusing on your needs and what you want for your life and where you're going you're looking at your past, you're focusing on your present and creating your future. And you want to do it from a space of this is what I want, this is who I am, and this is what makes me happy. And you're okay with people if people don't like that or not. You know, and you're taking some time away to really figure out who you are and what you want for yourself. And spirit wants you to do that. This is your time to do that. This is your time to pour into your own cups. Because you're realizing that if you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. 
and you are tired. You are drained. You need to go recharge. So you step back from everybody and everything and the daily demands of life. And are really, um, what is it? What am I hearing? Re, reworking. Um, what is it? Reconstructing. You are reconstructing the life that you want for yourself. So your future guidance from spirit is the world in reverse. Ace of Air. Hope you can see that. Is that clear? A nine of fire. Okay, so in the near future, uh, well, okay, so it all makes sense, it all flows. So currently you are being told to, well, you've taken a step back from everybody and everything, and you are connecting with nature. You are on a journey right now to discover what really makes you happy and what is good for you, and that is exactly what Spirit wants you to continue doing. Uh, spirit is guiding you to so you will be doing this in the future if you so choose you know it's all about choice to let go of conditioning patterns ideologies of thinking that you are responsible for everyone and everything to drop them and create a world for yourself that is um, representation of who you are and what you want for yourself, what really makes you happy. Yeah, Spirit wants you to focus on what makes you happy and create your world for yourself. Spirit also wants you to know that you don't owe anybody anything. Everybody's responsible for themselves. You know, so that is why you were guided to separate from all these demands. Spirit wants you to uncomplicate your life. You know, that is why right now you are, you are being separated so that you can go over your life and take inventory of what is adding value, what is not, what makes things easy for me, what doesn't. You know, um, making things easier doesn't mean that life is going to be easy. But you, there is a way. You can choose to do things from a high vibration. You can choose to do things from a space of joy and happiness and love and ease and grace. Or you can choose trial and trial and tribulation and struggles. And, you know, I know that in the world we live in, the more problems you go through, it's like the more stripes you get. Oh, yeah, I came from this place and I lived in the gutter and I went through the trenches and, and I'm not taking away from that. But spirit wants you to create a new world for yourself, uh, a world that stems from a place of ease and grace, of love and happiness. Spirit wants you to create a world where you experience things from a place of joy. It doesn't have to be struggle and strife for you to um, attain the things you want in life. You can do it from a space of all is well. And that's what spirit wants you to learn. Spirit wants you to learn how to create things from a space of, a, from a high vibrational space. So spirit is guiding you to just drop the baggage. Drop the things that are making your life complicated, that are making your life hard. And this may be people, friends, family members, you know, um, things that you're doing in your day-to-day -day life. If your job is not bringing you fulfillment, Spirit wants you to f go towards the things that do. You can find work. You can create uh, stability and security for yourself. You can create abundance. You can create money for yourself from a place of love and grace and ease and uh, from who you are, from passion. And that's what Spirit wants for you. Spirit wants you to create a whole new world for yourself, one that is not complicated, not so demanding, 
you know, and wants you to release those things, places, people that bring those things into your life. Yeah, it's you're it's you're going through a paradigm shift right now. A paradigm shift. You're creating a whole new world for yourself. One that is created by you for you, that is conducive to the things that you want for your life. And that's exactly what spirit wants you to do. And you are being led towards that. So continue to take your time to focus on these things. You know, uh, you may be letting go of some family members or some friends because they just want too much from you. I keep hearing to stress to you that everybody's responsible for themselves. Let them be responsible for themselves. You helping them all the time is not really getting them anywhere. It's just enabling them. It's enabling them and disabling you. And that's not what life is about. Um, Spirit wants you to accept yourself for who you are. Accept all of you. And accept that you can only do so much for people. And your first priority is to yourself. And the first person you need to honor is yourself. And Spirit wants you to incorporate that into your life to make that your cornerstone of your the center of your world, that you honor who you really are. Because that is where your happiness is going to come from. So I hope this message has blessed you. And, and that's what I have for you. So take care. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.